What's up guys, Ryan here with Trotoway Training and today we're going to be talking about how carbs cause fat storage, why this isn't necessarily a bad thing, and what we need to do to shed body fat. As I mentioned in my video on keto diets, the body wants to use glucose as fuel. The body does not want to burn body fat. It wants to hang on to body fat in case there's a famine and we need it to survive. Let's talk about what happens when we eat carbs. We eat carbs, those carbs are converted into glucose. The pancreas detects the increase in blood glucose and releases insulin as a response. The insulin takes the glucose from the blood and ushers it into different tissues for storage. As the glucose clears out of the bloodstream and the blood glucose levels drop, the insulin levels drop as well. And then the cycle continues whenever we eat again. While insulin is high, it also prevents us from breaking down body fat and promotes fat storage. Remember, the body wants to leave fat alone. So if you're eating a high carb diet, you're gonna be storing a higher percentage of the fat you're eating as body fat, and you'll be burning less fat for energy. Now this sounds pretty bad for fat loss, right? And a lot of people will take this information and use it to sell you on a keto diet or some other high fat diet. And it's an easy sell. The thinking goes you have a high carb diet, which leads to high insulin levels, which leads to storing more fat and burning less fat, which leads to obesity. Conversely, you have a low carb diet, which leads to lower insulin levels, which leads to burning more fat and storing less fat, which leads to having a six pack and everybody's happy. Let me clear up the misunderstanding here. If you eat more fat, you will burn more fat. This is absolutely true, but just because you're eating high fat does not mean you are going to get lean. Your body doesn't need elevated insulin levels in order to store the fat you eat as body fat. So if you're eating a high fat diet, you're also going to be storing more fat as body fat. Let me repeat that. If you're eating a high fat diet, you will burn more fat, but you will also be storing more fat as body fat. Take a look at this figure. Every time we eat, we store body fat. We then use that body fat for energy until we eat again. And the difference between the amount of fat we store versus the amount of fat we burn determines if we are going to gain or lose body fat over time. A moment ago, I said if you eat a high carb, low fat diet, you will store a higher percentage of the fat you eat as body fat. Again, this does sound pretty bad, but let me finish. The key word here is percentage. You may be storing a higher percentage of the fat you eat as body fat, but the total amount of fat you're eating is going to be lower. Let's look at a quick rough number example. Let's say you're eating 50 grams of fat per day and you store 80% of that as fat. That means you're storing 80 grams of fat per day as body fat. Now let's say you eat 100 grams of fat per day, which is double what we just mentioned, but you're storing 40% of that as body fat. Well, in either case, you're still storing the same 40 grams of fat as body fat. What this means is there's no difference between a low carb diet and a low fat diet as long as the calories and the protein are the same between the two diets. The only way to increase the fat we burn and decrease the fat we store is to decrease our total calorie intake. This means we either have to decrease protein, carbs, fat, or a combination of the three. We don't wanna take those calories away from protein because protein helps us to maintain our lean body mass while we're dieting. Higher protein diets are also associated with a faster rate of weight loss as well as more of the weight lost coming from body fat. And I've linked a couple articles talking about protein below 
and if you're not much for reading then there's also an audio available as well for both of those. So if we don't want to take calories away from protein we'll have to take calories away from either carbs or fat or some combination of the two. That part is going to be up to you. I'm just giving you the information you need so that people who care more about their wallet than your well-being can't trick you into buying their diet products anymore. You should go watch my video on ketogenic dieting before you decide whether you want to take your calories primarily away from carbs or away from fats. In that video I talk about the pros and the cons of the ketogenic diet and you can decide for yourself if the ketogenic diet is right for you. I've linked that video both up in the cards and down in the description as the first link as well. What are your thoughts? Have you tried low carb dieting? Have you tried low fat dieting? Which do you prefer? Let me know down in the comments and if you have any questions, let me know those as well while you're down there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content just like this, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. YouTube has stated that they're going to be reducing the number of notifications that they send out. So if you want to know when I post a new video, you're gonna to want to hit the bell icon while you're down there subscribing. If you found this information helpful and think others will benefit from it as well, please give this video a share on social media. It helps us out more than you know. I will be back next week with another fat loss topic. As always, God bless you and your family, and I'll see you next week. I'm just giving you the information you need so that people who care more about their bank account than they care about you, I'm just giving you the information you need so that the people who care about I'm just giving you the information you need so that the people who care about their diet I'm just giving you the information you need so that people who care more about their bank account than they care about you can't sell you their diet products anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs>